<clears throat> that on? That's on. Okay, that might be on. Hey, God, I got a lot of blue going on today. Look at that. Uh, Patrick Kelly. Uh, I'm a distinguished architect um, here at Zoom. Get this Logitech mic set up. I'll talk about that later this week. Um, today's a little bit of a nerdy topic. Um, it's basically dealing with security and basic auth versus basic authentication versus OAuth 2.0, the new authentication method. It's really not new. It's the industry standard now. But a lot of times when we set up uh, in the old days, <laughs> that's why I have gray hair. We used to set up uh, resource accounts and we'd send basic auth, basically meaning you have a username and password. And you, every time you wanted to connect to something, you send it across and then the other endpoint kind of stores it. And then you authenticate that way. It was simple, effective and easy and super insecure. <laughs> so uh, <clears throat> Microsoft in all its glory is... Uh, sure is deprecating uh, basic auth they are deprecating it in favor of obviously uh, uh, OAuth 2.0 or basically web tokens is really the new way to do it it's not even the new way sorry keep hitting that mic uh, it's the uh, secure way with TLS blah 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 you can we can get into um, how it works if you really want to but I, I really want to tell you that Microsoft has announced deprecation uh, they've announced it for two years it's finally and in Microsoft fashion they just keep extending it which is just extending the problem really for Microsoft and and why it's pertinent to you at Zoom or for you that use Zoom if you haven't figured out I do work for Zoom I am a full-time employee of Zoom I I am not a figurehead or a spokesman for Zoom by any means I I have dogs in the background, <laughs> if you can hear them. I also, because I have uh, no, um, I have musicians on 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 my uh, mic, so you can hear full fidelity. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, the point is, also my wife is on the Peloton, and it sounds like she's having an arm workout with Olivia. <laughs> That's her instructor of the day. So if you can hear that, great. I apologize if, if not, even better. I uh, I wanted to, let's get back into what we were talking about is basic auth versus uh, OAuth. And what, basically what's happening is Exchange Online is deprecating it, and for, for good reason. Second, why it matters to you uh, if you are a uh, utilizing Zoom as your client and or room as our meeting connector is that you might have set it up with basic auth. And guess what's going to happen when they shut it down? <laughs> Shutting it down for legacy clients, you will not be able to authenticate. And what that means is this. When your Zoom client is integrated with uh, Exchange as the back end for calendar and most important calendar and contacts, you're not going to be able to retrieve those meetings and uh, contacts. So it's very important that you do what I'm about to tell you to do. If you have a Zoom room that's using basic auth, guess what? It's going to work. Uh, the calendar function is not going to work because you're not going to be able to retrieve your calendar from Exchange. You will need to set it up for OAuth 2.0. And here's how we do that. First of all, if you want to read this entire article on on deprecation of basic auth versus exchange on an exchange online, please feel free to do that. It is right here. I'm going to move that over. It is right here. Just search for basic auth versus OAuth on Microsoft. It'll pop up in the white paper. Here's how to fix it, right? Well, there's, guess what? We actually have a support article. Uh, Zoom actually uh, threw out a support article uh, last week on how to fix uh, this uh, problem, should you have it. And you're asking yourself, well, Patrick, how do I know if I have it? Just know that if you do have it, I will check that next. You can, uh, there's the update steps right here. All right, in the Zoom, it's basically support.zoom.com. Search for basic auth and the article will come up. Here's how to do it. I'm going to save you some time. <laughs> Here's what the article says, right? Here's how to switch it. First of all, in your profile, uh, let's just log into my profile, uh, has your settings for, so two, two different levels, right? You have your user profile, which goes and gets your calendar information for your Zoom client for Zoom meetings. Uh, when you schedule meetings, when you accept meetings, it updates that calendar. Obviously, that calendar is in exchange. We want to be able to authenticate to that calendar. I go, When I go do this, I just hit Control-V if you're a, sorry, Control-F if you're on Windows, Alt-V if you're on um, Mac, and type in calendar to find, right? Up here is my find, right here. Right here it is, calendar and contacts integration. I have my test account set up with Office 365, which is Exchange Online. This is Exchange On-Prem, and this is Google. So pick one of those three. Those are the major uh, uh, users and uh, suppliers of, of calendar information. We are agnostic and we integrate with all three. 
Office 365 is what I'm using for my test account. You will then go to the oh, mother of pearl. I'm going to sign in real quick. Uh, should have, probably should have done a test run of this. Here you go, right here. Authorize with OAuth. Make sure that is checked off. Then you are set. It will work once they deprecate that service. Okay, you're good. You can also do it here in your rooms management. You're going to go to rooms management calendar integration. Right here, you're going to take note of all the types of calendars that you have integrated with your Zoom rooms and device management right here. You can see I have Office 365 and a couple of these different ones. So let's go ahead and make sure they are assigned. Uh, let's go to, uh, let's go to admin. See, let's see what that guy is. I am assigned to, uh, to conferencing room Baker. Let's make sure that one didn't work. Let's go in here. Let's go. Let's go to one that's unassigned. Let's go to hitter. Let's one unassigned and let's just uh, assign it and, and make sure that's uh, not even set right there at all. Sync calendars got everyone set. So we're all set. None of those are set. So how do we set those? Well, well here's what we do. We go down here. I'm going to go it all the way up here. We're going to actually reauthorize uh, the ones that are not set for OAuth. So let's pretend this is not set. We're just going to go to the reauthorize tab right here and boom, it's going to ask us how would we like to reauthorize and we're going to check off the OAuth 2.0. This is, should be your only choice. What I'm trying to tell you, <laughs> choose this one and then reauthorize those calendars. It will then upgrade the basic auth to OAuth and you'll be, you'll be rocking and rolling and no outages in, um, with your Zoom rooms. More importantly, you can actually do this entire for your entire uh, tenant if you want to. If we go all the way down, I believe here, uh, for the yeah for the entire tenant, not your entire tenant, your entire account, you'll be able to go to account settings and account management, and you'll be able to set calendar contacts and enforce it for all integrations. Okay, very important. I believe October first was the deprecations beginning. Uh, it, it's a rolling beginning, I think, in the Microsoft world. I think they're going to tar target SMTP auth. If they're going to see if you're even using that, if they're not, they're going to shut it off. Uh, I think you have one chance to extend it till December 31st, 2022, and then it's really off for good forever. So if you have clients that are integrated your calendar with Office 365, Using basic basic auth, make sure you have uh, set those individuals to to OAuth. If you have Zoom rooms that are use, utilizing basic auth, make sure you get those over to OAuth 2.0. Very very important. Unless you want to get a whole bunch of help desk calls saying, "Hey, all my Zoom rooms are broken. What's going on?" It's not Zoom's fault. <laughs> well, kind of is, I guess. If you, if you really haven't changed uh, gone from basic to OAuth, here's a, that's an easy way to do it. All right, hope that helps.